against you, but things really seem to gel. Well, I really thought that was a total team effort. Corey uh, Brown, Wright. as well as Jason Wright, Quan Johnson, those were three returning players who probably had uh, the most playing time in our program. They really stepped up on the perimeter. Our perimeter defense was very sound. Uh, I thought we exposed the weaknesses on the perimeter against Tulane, and I thought uh, Eddie Washington did an outstanding job in terms of being a presence in the paint, uh, getting some key rebounds in the first half, and then I thought DeJuan Westy in particular came off the bench and did an outstanding job, just a solid job in defending Honeycutt. Byron Bolchick was solid. Although he got in foul trouble, he, he was solid in the middle, got us some key rebounds. Bernard Allen did an outstanding job for a freshman. He was very poised out there. He was very pleased with the team effort. These are highlights of the first half we're watching here, and uh, a nip and tuck first half all the way through. Uh, Tulane's biggest lead, seven, that at the 10:41 mark. But you would come back, and with uh, 3:19 left in the first half, you take the lead on a Reynard Allen layup, uh, and take a lead by two, and you never relinquished it from that point into the second half. No, we didn't, but I thought that defense uh, played key in, in the first and second half. Uh, we kept constant pressure uh, on the basketball. We didn't allow ball reversal uh, as much. Uh, I thought we extended our defense, but shut the inside game off. But I thought we did an outstanding job of, of doubling on Honeycutt every chance that we got to make him give up the basketball and try to get someone else uh, on the Greenway program a little bit more involved offensively. We know that the offense start. This three-point shot, and that got UNO going, and going well. At that point, the lead was nine. Quan had five, and he was on his way to a 23-point performance. A fine performance, Coach, for Quan Johnson. He did. What I was most impressed with, he played both ends of the court very well. He played hard, he was aggressive, uh, shut down their passing lanes, uh, he shot the gap when they made the guard the forward pass, he got us into our transition game, uh, but he played very smart also defensively, I was very impressed with his efforts. We talked about it last week when Quan was visiting us, we said, hey, you know, uh, this guy's a great leaper, could be uh, one of the best leapers UNO has ever had, certainly uh, the best since... Uh, Tony Harris was here, and he really showed it in the game. Yeah, he uh, can get the crowd excited about his uh, dunks. Uh, he certainly like to showcase his athleticism. I think he's one of the most exciting dunkers in college basketball. And also, he'll uh, run over a cameraman every now and then as well. His defense intensity is, is really something else. You know, because he had some foul trouble, but he was continually going after the ball and not slowing down his intensity on the defensive end. And that was a big part of Tulane's problems offensively. It was, but we've got three guys on the perimeter that I have a lot of confidence in, and Jason Ray, Quan Johnson, and Corey Brown. Those three guys can block up on people and just won't allow you to catch the basketball. And because of that, that takes a little bit of pressure off our post guys. And they do an outstanding job of three of them in tandem. They're like uh, a rope. They move together on defense. They know each other quite well. And they're very sound in the half of the moment. Two lane double digit turnovers in the second half. Uh, upwards of 15 turnovers in the second half. What were some of the things you guys were doing defensively to give them fits and give them problems? I think we anticipated passes very well. Uh, we matched up with them uh, on, on the exterior. We changed the defenses, so we kind of kept them out of rhythm. We kept them out of sync uh, as much as we could. But we didn't do anything exceptionally uh, or, or anything tricky. I thought what we did was just anticipate the pass and put a lot of pressure on the guy with the basketball. A good game for UNO, certainly, and uh, uh, certainly it seemed like everything just seemed to come together at the right time. It didn't seem like this was a team full of guys that were playing together or amongst each other for the first time. You would, one who may not be familiar with the program would say, this is obviously a veteran team. I, I thought one of our strengths was we, we were very poised uh, as a team. I thought we did an outstanding job of putting two 20-minute halves together. You, you don't find that with the young team, uh, but I was very impressed with how they handled the pressure, how they handled, uh, excuse me, how they went into the game with the mindset. They were very focused. 